Holocaust Memorial Day is not only about remembering the millions of people who died during the Holocaust and other genocides, but also about trying to stop history repeating itself. This year's theme is Don't Stand By. During the Holocaust and other genocides, resistors have challenged the prejudice that was subtly but menacingly being cultivated around them and fought against the regimes of persecution. The world is a dangerous place, not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. Quote attributed to Albert Einstein. Today we honour Gad Beck. Despite being both gay and Jewish, Gad Beck survived the entire duration of Nazi rule living in Berlin. Gerhard Beck and his twin sister Margot were born in Berlin in 1923. His father was a Jewish immigrant from Austria. His mother had converted to Judaism. He described his mixed family background. Such a devoted, open and serene form of Christian Jewish ecumenism, full of good heartedness. Life changed suddenly after the Nazis assumed power in 1933, when Gerhard was nine. Within a year he had left his school because of anti-Semitic bullying. As persecution escalated, he was forced to leave schooling completely, and his family was forced to move to a poorer part of the city, designated for Jews. 1938, Gerhard had to clear up the clothes shop he worked in after it was ransacked, vandalised and soiled by Nazi thugs. The ever-increasing levels of persecution caused Gerhard to carefully consider his Jewish identity and to join Zionist youth groups, which aimed to help Jews make the journey to a new life in Palestine. To assert his Jewish identity, Gerhard started using the Hebrew name Gad, in September 1941, Berlin's Jews were forced to wear the Yellow Star, and the first deportations to the East began. Nathan Schwab, a Zionist coordinator in Switzerland, had already learned that the Nazis were carrying out genocide. Nathan warned us in a letter not to comply with the order to migrate. He knew already that the Nazis had begun systematically murdering the Jews. Gad had started a relationship with Manfred Lewin, who along with his family received their deportation notices in 1942. In a risky attempt to save Manfred, Gad borrowed a Hitler youth uniform and persuaded the assembly camp commander that he needed Manfred for a short time. The lovers walked out together, but Manfred explained to Gad that he was unable to leave his family. Manfred returned to the detention centre, to deportation and to death at Auschwitz. By 1943, most of Berlin's Jews have been deported and Mischlinger, people with mixed Jewish or non-Jewish background, like Gad were vulnerable. Gad was summoned to a building at Rosenstrasse, he and other Mischlinger were held for several days, before protests by the non-Jewish wives and families of the captives caused the Nazis to lose their nerve and release their relatives. Having escaped deportation because of the protests at Rosenstrasse, Gad's resistance activity stepped up. He assumed a leading role in Chug Trelusi, the group of pioneers, a Jewish resistance group linked to a European network coordinated from Switzerland. Gad ranged over the city, arranging safe houses, delivering money, and assisting Jews in attempts to escape Germany. Despite the Nazi regime persecution of gay people, Gad believed his homosexuality assisted his resistant activities. As a homosexual, I was able to turn to my trusted, non-Jewish, homosexual acquaintances to help supply food and hiding places. Gad was portrayed in March 1945 and arrested by the SS. Although he had evaded the transports east, he had to survive over a month in a camp before being liberated. After the war, Gad continued to stand up for his beliefs. He worked to organise Jewish immigration to Palestine against the wishes of the British authorities and made the journey to Palestine himself in 1947. Gad fought in the war, which resulted in Israel's creation in 1948. He built a new life and lived happily in Israel for several years before deciding to make a journey of return to Central Europe. He became the director of Berlin's Jewish Adult Education Centre and a prominent gay activist. Gad felt it was a mission to return to complete his resistance by rebuilding Jewish and lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender life, where the Nazis had tried to eradicate them. Gad Beck died aged 88 in 2012. This year's theme encourages us all to consider whether we are doing enough to combat anti-Semitism, racism and hate crime. Every one of us can make a difference in our own communities. We can all challenge prejudice and discrimination if we hear or witness it in our schools, workplaces or civic spaces. To quote Ellie Weasel, I swore never to be silent, whenever and wherever human beings endure suffering and humiliation. We must always take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the terminator, never the tormented. We need to take into account the lives of other people who live around us. We need to look after each other. Kimul Pavanish.
Don't stand by. 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 This film was one of a number of art installations displayed at the Holocaust Memorial Day commemoration on the 27th of January 2016. Two members of the hype team were able to be part of this event.